Well, it's not that boys and girls. Mrs. Ford's here all by herself at school super early one day before Mrs. Beth is coming in, and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite stories, the wish tree. I wonder what the wish might be. This story was written by Kyle McClear. I'm going to move so you can see the pictures as I read you the words. This looks awful interesting. I see a little note in a tree. Why might that be there? Well, Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, there is no such thing. His sister said, there is no such thing. But Charles said, oh, what do you think, Boggin? And Boggin thought, surely there was such a thing. Who do you think Boggin might be? So the next morning, Charles and Boggin set forth. His brother said, bring a map. His sister said, don't forget a compass. But Charles and Boggin were already well on their way into the woods. La di da di da di da, sang Charles. Whish, sang Boggin. And they had the whole day ahead of them, the whole day to find the wish tree. Up, up, up to the hill they climbed and down, down, down a frosty meadow they slid where Charles and went, Boggin followed and where Boggin went, Charles followed. Charles and Boggin did not see the wish tree, but they did see Squirrel who was puzzling over to get some hazelnuts to his house. la di da di da di da sang Charles. Whoosh! sang Boggin. And Charles says, so long, squirrel. Slow, slow through the snow they went, and hush, hush, past Bear's den they crept. Where Charles went, Boggin followed, and where Boggin went, Charles followed. They did not see a wish tree anywhere, but they did see Beaver, who was busy gathering birch wood to bring home his to his lodge. La di da di da di da, sang Charles. And what do you think Wish is singing? Whoosh, sings Boggin. Slide, glide, across the ice they slipped, past a few logs and around a bend. Where Charles went, Boggin followed, and where Boggin went, Charles followed. The Wish tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find. What do you think they find next? A fox who was late gathering berries for her burrow. La di da di da sang Charles and Boggin sang whoosh. Now they had less than half the day ahead of them, less than half the day to find a wish tree. We may need to move a little faster, Boggin said Charles. We're halfway through this story, friends. The last time we read a story, you wrote a story for me. I'd like you to get some plain paper that we sent home, and I'd like you to draw a picture of how this story ends. Um, if you would like to use other materials, that's fine too. Um, if you'd like to use some virtual tools, you can do that. Um, but I wonder, I wonder about this wish tree and Boggin and Charles. So take a look here, go ahead and pause the video to draw your picture, and then after you're done with your picture, unpause the video and I'll turn the page. Charles and Boggin were moving very slowly now and their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Boggin, Charles said, I am tired. I cannot search any longer. Shh, whispered Boggin. When Charles awoke, it was snowing. It was snowing on Squirrel, and it was snowing on Beaver, and it was snowing on Fox, as it was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles could not see through the falling snow, but then he said, Oh, look! See, Boggin, said Charles, just as we thought. And Boggin said, Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper, and he tied it around a branch on the wish tree. What do you think Charles wished for? What would you wish for? I'd love to hear about that if you're recording a video on Flipgrid after the story. Now the snow was falling more gently now and the animals had prepared a night feast with hazelnut souffle, a pot of birch tea, and biscuits made of berries. 
Charles and Boggin celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. The moon was glowing brightly. A la di da di da sang Charles and his buddy Boggin sang Wish all the way home. And that's the end of the story. Boys and girls, I hope you liked Wish. I hope you stay wishing. I can't wait to see your pictures and hear your words. So don't forget to upload something and put it soon. See you soon. Bye.